and uh, Juwairia from the Emirates. My question is that, uh, is it mandatory for Muslims to do normal ghusl once in a week? Okay. Juwairia from the Emirates. There is a hadith of mandating ghusl every week, where the Prophet ﷺ says it's a mandatory upon each person who has reached the age of puberty to shower once a week. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, explained that to us. And he said, I'll tell you what the reason or what the wisdom behind this. At the early stages of Islam, we used to work in Medina, hard labor. So we were farmers and we were traders and we used to work, work from Fajr till sunset. And we had only one garment each. So we didn't have a, uh, a, a full wardrobe of suits. No, I had only one garment that's on me. And I have to take it and wash it and stay home naked until it dries, then I can wear it again. And it was made of wool. So as they were working under the sun and it's hot, you can imagine the smell, which was offensive coming from their bodies. With the wool, it's even worse. Like some say, it's not an odor, it's an oh dear. So when they used to come to Friday and it's packed in the masjid, they used to be offended from each other's smell, not their own, but from the other's uh, uh, people's smell. So the Prophet mandated Islam, that they must perform ghusl before they come to Jumu'ah. And then a few years down the line, when things became easier and money was among the people's hands and they could buy clothes, they could clean more often, this was uplifted. So I hope this answers your question.